I went to Amazon Evil Summer School and learned absolutely nothing. But three years before I joined is where I actually found the real gold. Not in the big courses, but in hidden notes, underground creators, and free gems that no one talks about. It took me three years because the resources were scarce before all the AI hype train. And this is the roadmap I'd give to my younger self to learn everything I did in just six months, including the job market. So there are actually two roadmaps, traditional and AI as a service or ask. In traditional roadmap, you have a theory base and practical roadmap that you will be doing in parallel. Now I hate the approach of starting with maths because it's boring. AI is supposed to be exciting and futuristic. Not whatever this crap is. But really you need to learn the basics of calculus, linear algebra and probability to understand pretty much any ML approach. But only the bare basics. So this includes derivatives, integration, matrices, dot products, probability distributions, etc. You've already cleared this step if you paid attention in your high school math classes. If you haven't or need a refresher, check out geeks for geeks or the book called mathematics for machine learning. The next arc is statistical machine learning models. These are the fundamentals of the subject that will introduce you to classical prediction algorithms. Linear regression only predicts data that follow a straight line, while decision trees are like hundreds of if-else statements that your models learn to build. The most important topics here are gradient descent, loss functions, the algorithms themselves, and dozens of key terms that are a staple in this domain's vocabulary. This will take two to six weeks to complete depending on your time and effort. Next we come to my favorite arc, deep learning. This is where the real fun begins and also real suffering because it is as deep as it sounds. I mean really deep. This arc is all about neural networks, a class of machine learning models designed on the structure of neurons in human brains. It's almost a mathematical piece of art that you can only truly appreciate by understanding each topic in depth and moving forward only if you're confident. Most important topics here are activation functions, backpropagation, CNNs, LSTM, sequence to sequence models and transformers. This opens doors to several latest tech like understanding chat GPT, vision transformers, generative adversarial networks and much more. It's also worth mentioning that there are only three types of data formats in AI, text, audio and photos. Videos are just several photos and audio stitched together. Audio is a rather niche topic that you will most likely never get into. Almost everything you study will be text based because images are essentially matrices that follow similar text based approaches with minor changes such as applying transformers for images and creating vision transformers. There's also also an entire field on predicting time series data like stock prices and weather given how insanely hard it is and the field of recommendation algorithms. If this sounds overwhelming to you, let me introduce you to one of my favorite resources that helped me the most as a lost big node, Datacamp. And they were also kind enough to sponsor this video. I personally reached out to Datacamp because they have a very practical and interactive approach that gets you real world skills. You don't just watch videos here, you have to get down to work, solve exercises and even create guides projects. And that's what separates you from the herd. Datacamp's courses emphasize on developing practical skills that actually gets you a job, such as hugging face, lang chain, say CD pipelines, and deploying your AI applications. As you'll learn later in this video, these are the skills that companies are looking for and most courses skip them. They provide fully fledged courses on machine learning fundamentals, deep learning, AI agents, MLOps, and even AWS, all at one place. I've always been recommending Datacamp because from my personal experience, they just make any topic very easy to grasp. Companies like Netflix, Spotify and Airbnb recognize their certifications because they test real skills in their exams, not just MCQs. They give you a complete track starting from conceptual foundations to technical skills that builds your credibility. Huge thanks to Datacam for sponsoring this video and being so awesome. I personally never found the most hyped lectures to be that helpful in the longer run. What I would highly recommend instead are YouTube channels like StatQuiz, who teaches you in a very fun, engaging and quick format, especially for deep learning. The only downside is that he doesn't cover all the topics. Three Blue One Brown is another gem for visual learners. I like to consult my pet AI who is currently Grok about any topic I just read for a Q&A session and to make sure I didn't leave any concept behind. Another OP trick is to google any topic name you want to learn with Datacamp as a suffix and you will get transported to the best place to learn about that topic. Again, it took me a lot of time to learn about these tactics and they are incredibly powerful. This will take you about 4 to 12 weeks depending on your time and efforts. But no matter how much effort you put into studying it, you are destined to forget all this knowledge. You need to preserve it in a way that saves you time in revision and makes it harder to forget for your brain. I'm talking about making notes. You simply cannot skip making personalized notes when it comes to machine learning.
The practical roadmap is very straightforward. Learn Python, then it's libraries. Pandas for handling data and memory, NumPy to handle matrices, scikit-learn to implement basic algorithms, and TensorFlow for creating deep neural networks. Try building some projects like a Jarvis clone or AI product review to make yourself more comfortable with Python and prepare you for the upcoming chaos. Start with simple Kaggle notebooks. These are Python notebook files where you can execute each cell one at a time. There are thousands of data sets to choose from, so please don't pick a protein enzyme classification problem when you can pick any of these. Gradually increase and try to work on as many small projects as possible. On Kaggle, you can see strategies that other people implemented, including the top rankers. The real value lies in experimenting by changing parameters, applying the theoretical concepts you learned into practice, and unraveling the tactics that work the best. Here, you'll realize that theory is so much more important than practical. Writing any sort of code for machine learning is as easy as writing English. The value lies fundamentally in the theory that you need to apply to get intended results. Try re-implementing a research paper. You will learn a lot and it glitters in your resume. You can build computer vision or simple reinforcement learning projects. Simply pick any game you like and defeat it with the supreme power of AI. This will take you about 8 to 12 weeks if you do it parallelly with theory. But most jobs are currently in Gen AI, where you utilize models like ChatGPT and craft your own app around it using design patterns like RAG and MCP. For this career trajectory, you don't need to learn calculus and classical ML algorithms. What you need to have instead is some backend knowledge. You can learn something as simple as fast API and fundamental concepts like RESTful APIs within a couple of weeks at worst. This arc includes learning LLM concepts such as vector databases which stores your data in an LLM friendly vector format, Hugging Face which is a place to deploy ML apps and use models created by the community, RAG, a framework to create models with external personalized data, AI agents and MCP, a design pattern to create modern AI applications, and Langchain, a library to help you implement these concepts. All of this will take you 6 months to learn. Just kidding, you can learn all this in 3 minutes from my video. Unlike traditional ML route, this field is 80% practical. Build as many projects as possible that align with real world scenarios. Best is to solve your own day to day problems leveraging your AI agents. It can be something as simple as fetching resume specific job applications from LinkedIn or something as complicated as an MCP client for VS Code. This will easily take 2 to 4 weeks at least. Now, this is more than enough for most people. But as I would learn a few years later, is that a lot of machine learning engineering jobs require you to know how to deploy AI applications on cloud in a scalable manner that can caters to user personalized requirements. This leads us to the arc of MLOps. This arc includes learning Git, CI/CD pipelines, containerization, AWS infrastructure for deploying software, Kubernetes, data engineering stores, automation and monitoring tools. These tools help your AI apps actually work in production, digest and process live data feeds, respond to dynamic user traffic, retrain models when new data arrives, cost optimization and drip detection. Now this is an entirely different domain that is beyond the scope of this video but I wanted to give you an idea about the breadth and depth of this domain. And of course, everything I mentioned in this roadmap, including Gen AI and MLOps, is included in data camps in a standardized format with interactive exercises. All this is not going to be easy. AI is one of the hardest and lendiest fields of computer science that keeps growing at an exponential rate. And I enjoyed every bit of it. Just thinking about how these ML models work and learning about them gives me goosebumps. How is it that LLMs are able to craft coherent sentences is still beyond on scientists. If this inspired you to begin your own ML journey, then let me know in the comments what you would like for me to make in the next video. And thanks for watching, Manware!